The last days of Central City Flea Market have created a parking lot filled with cars. Like people trying to beat the Christmas rush. But unlike Christmas, there is no happy ending. The booth owners were given just three weeks to clear out all their stuff, making room for a yet-to-be-determined strip mall of progress. The visitors weren't that focused on shopping as much as they were paying their respects to the last vestige of down-home Arkansas hospitality here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Well, you get so attached to the people in here. I mean, they're like family because a lot of times you're with them more than you're with your own family. Well, it's like a community, you know. If, if you need a piece of tape, the person next to you got it. If you're going to be there for them, they're going to be there for you. It's a community. I've been going to this place since 96, and uh, I can't believe this, this place is closing down for 28 years. This is uh, one of the biggest icons that Hot Springs has had in a long time as far as a place to go and feel good. For, for mainly, if you don't even find anything, the stress relief, just walking through here is awesome. It seems that amongst the wide variety of time capsule items, you find very good people. Some of these people have been here for 15 or 20 years. For some of them, this has been their very happy retirement home. Most of the old timers were too sad and too busy to go on camera, but the stories abound of family. People unrelated by blood, but bonded by a sense of caring that goes beyond the normal social graces of small business. Four months. It's right. Got, it's got to do with the people that's been here 20 and 25 years. What are they supposed to do with their stuff in 30 days? Mr. Bob in the back, he's the elderly gentleman. He's 85 years old. He's moving his stuff out by himself. Even after I get my stuff out, I'll make a point to come up and help him out. You know, and that's just it. They would do it for me if they could. Gary, tell us the two questions <laughs> that you don't want to have people ask. Where are you moving to and what are you going to do? <laughs> everyone will mourn the passing of the Central City Flea Market because everyone has their own Central City stories. From amazing finds to amazing friends, it's a memory of what Arkansas used to be. This is John Cooksey reporting for Off the Beaten Path in Hot Springs, Arkansas. You are watching the Hot Springs Broadcast Network.